Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm showing you how I make my very own DIY home scent. I'm making not one, but two different scents, a room spray and a reed diffuser. They're super easy to make with only a few ingredients. Wanna see how I make them? Keep watching. So let's start by making the room spray. First, I'll be using distilled water. Secondly, I'm using witch hazel. Third, I'm going to use polysorbate 80. I will be using essential oils as well as a funnel. And lastly, I'm going to need a spray bottle for the final product. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you're notified whenever I create a new video. So I'm going to start with 13 grams of polysorbate 80. So polysorbate 80 is an emulsifier that's going to help my essential oil and my liquids bind together. It's also going to ensure that my room spray doesn't have a cloudy appearance. Polysorbate 80 is a really, really easy emulsifier to work with as it doesn't need to be melted. It's already liquefied and all you have to do is mix it with your essential oils and give it a stir. Next, I'm going to add my essential oils to the polysorbid 80. So I'm using bergamot essential oil. I'll also be using Lang Lang essential oil and sandalwood essential oil. So this combination is going to give me a sweet woodsy scent. So I'm going to add about 10 drops of the bergamot oil. I'm going to add five drops of the Lang Lang essential oil. And I'm going to add five drops of the sandalwood essential oil. Then I'm going to stir my polysorbate 80 and my essential oils together. So now I'm going to measure out 110 grams of distilled water. Followed by 110 grams of witch hazel. And now I'm going to pour in my polysorbate 80 and essential oils into my water and witch hazel. And I'm going to pour in a little bit of the polysorbid 80 and essential oils, just a little bit at a time to make sure that my mixture doesn't go cloudy. And I also found that it's much easier to mix these ingredients together with a hand mixer. And let's not forget to add in a preservative. So I'm going to be using one gram of Optifin Plus for this room spray. And I'm going to use my hand mixer to make sure that it's mixed in really well. Mm -hmm. 
So now I'm going to use my funnel and pour my mixture into my spray bottle. And guys, just like that, I have a clear room spray. So next, I'm going to label my room spray so that I know exactly what I'm using when I go to grab for my bottle. So I'm gonna drop the link in the description box to all of the products that I use, just in case you're interested in making your own room spray. Now this next recipe is even easier than the first. So for the room diffuser, I'll be using a small glass bottle, three diffuser sticks. I'm going to use sweet orange and lemongrass essential oil as well as grapeseed oil. So I'll just take my funnel, place it in my glass jar and fill up my glass jar halfway with the grapeseed oil. So next, I'm going to pour in about 14 to 15 drops of the lemongrass essential oil. Then I'm going to add in about 20 drops of the sweet orange essential oil. Next, I'm going to give my bottle a little shake, being careful not to spill or splash my oil. So guys, I've decided to use the lighter color diffuser sticks, so I'm just placing them in the bottle of essential oil and natural oil mix. And there you have it, an easy DIY room spray and essential oil diffuser. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share this video. Products can be found in the description box below, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.